Yo, what is up my people and welcome on the Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrunner. So right, don't forget to like this battle because this is a very good one. Uh, Cleo is one of my moderators from my Twitch channel. She is a real good friend and a very, very good battler in both RU and NU. This is a full NU team from her side and I'm bringing in Illis, which is definitely a RU poke. Uh, she's bringing in Karakosta, Glaceon, uh, Rotom, uh, which is very tough, very bulky. Don't underappreciate that one. Uh, also, if you like Mashok, Regirock, which is a tough to deal with, and Bayim, something like that. I don't. I'll try to get that name, but just it's beyond my vocabulary. Uh, nevertheless, it hits hard, really hard. And I myself tried to have something new. I wanted to try to have a team that could absorb like attacks. So he'll is absorbing water, obviously. Uh, Rapid as absorbing fire. Um, uh, Sawbug is absorbing Ross. And uh, System Toad absorbing also both thunder and um, well water. So definitely is like one of those teams just gonna benefit on um, taking like uh, resisted damage and um, just getting boosted if they use the wrong moves. Uh, but anyway guys, let's actually get to this game. Let's hustle, right? So anyway, starting out here, I was kind of hoping that she would bring Regirock and just trying to set up Stealth Rock, so I just went for myself for Saladin or Hillisk. I really just wanted to get a decent boss with So, she brings in Belgium, and there is no way for me to actually hit it, so I'm just gonna bring my Assault Vest and System Toad, which is max HP, special defense, and just take whatever special we got. Sadly, got Psyshock. And that one shots me. Awful start here. Uh, definitely spec plus analyze. Uh, I, I definitely kill it with um, the knockoff there. But at this part of the game, it's so crucial that I actually needed Sesmetode as long as the Rodan was around. Because that was the only thing that pretty much walled it actually. So I'm in a really bad position. I was hoping for a fun wave here. Uh, she just go for Bolt Switch. Uh, which does a lot of damage actually, considering it's resisted. Though it is a critical hit though, so that explains it. So anyway, she's going to Matsuda, uh, I'm just gonna go for a ball switch there, and I'll just thinking, I don't know me for a knockoff, which poke is least needed of her Zizen, and that is definitely Altaria. Uh, so I'm just getting that one off, I, I didn't want to lose Rocky Helmet, considering how good Colin Gar Rocky Rocket Helmet works, but I needed Girder with you Light, and I need, I know it's Sawbuck, could definitely almost die against from a knockoff actually. So anyway, after that, um, I would like to speed this up, because now it's Altaria against uh, Rodom uh, fan there. And, well, it definitely is a locked game. Um, I got, she got Paralyzation, but I have Natural Cure. Uh, Sorbo did not do as much damage as I hoped. Uh, so I'm just gonna, um, well, play awful actually. Or play, I, this is the only way for me to actually deal with it. It was kind of rough actually. So anyway, I finally get that one down. Uh, I am not in a good position because Solbuck almost died there. And because of that, I'm going to actually sack that because there is no way for me to switch into anything actually to get a um, take up ice move from this thing. And she shows me that she got Frost Breath. And well, that is always a crit, so I definitely did the right call there. So I'm just gonna bring my um, uh, Girder here. Just going for Drain Punch. I know I can take one Frost Breath without doubt. Uh, and she will just decide to sag up his Machoke. Or oh, her Machoke, sorry. Um, and nevertheless, uh, because of that, she's gonna bring in the. the um, what's it called? Uh, Caracosta. And just go right away for Waterfall here. Uh, I myself am going to Roost, I know I'm faster. And she will just go for. Um, I think she went for Shell Smash here. And I wasn't too scared, I mean, I was scared, um, I knew I had Mock Punch on my side, so I wasn't too like afraid of it. So I just went for a Moonblast here, hoping I'd actually do around 50%, uh, because then I can just keep going at it, actually. So, right, getting the Moonblast off, and that is a 50%. <laughs> She'll go for a Waterfall here, and uh, I'll decide to take it off with Moonblast, but she gets the flinch. She gets the flinch. And, well, I was thinking she might as well go for another waterfall, so I can at least get my hill up for some decent HP up, actually. And, well, after that I decided to just sack off Altaria. Um, definitely expecting either another waterfall or a Stone Edge. 
Uh, it's a stone edge, it definitely didn't matter. Altair was dead anyway. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring in my um, girder here. And she will get the side cover awkward. Yeah, it was a great move. I went for mock punch myself. Should probably have gone for the drain punch. Uh, but anyway, she'll bring in the Reggie Rock, and I have really no means of dealing with it. I'm gonna speed up again here. Because she has a curse set and not a stealth rock set, so it definitely is really, really bulky. So she's just gonna set up and try to recover, and I'll do just the same actually, because, like I said, I have really no means of dealing with it. Um, at least it's slower than anything else on my team, so I know a special attacking move will definitely take it out. But I am very lucky to actually pull off then and get Girder to actually <laughs> win this uh, matchup here. Which is great! I did not expect that actually. Um, and well, now she only got the Glaceon left, and there is really no nothing Girder can do here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go right away for a mock punch there and do some damage. And I am in that range of HP where she will just take me out. Uh, luckily though, I still have my Rapidash, which is the Scarf set. Uh, and Rapidash will end this battle. So yeah, thank you, Cleo. It was a, actually a really good game. I did enjoy it a lot, actually. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching this game. Uh, it really like makes me really glad for you that you know when you're liking and subscribing and commenting. Um, and well, I'll keep doing it. <laughs>